Yo, 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 what's up, what's up? It's Coach Nick Money in the house, and in today's episode, we're going to take a look at Kala Pharmaceuticals, Inc., symbol K-A-L-A. But let me begin by saying we are not financial or stock advisors, and we're not giving stock or financial advice. This episode is for entertainment purposes only. da 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 da, da. You do your own due diligence. If you want access to our private Discord so you can get our pre-market picks early, the link's in the description. We have also included a link to our membership website program, which also includes all of our stock picks and over 300 episodes of material on how we find and trade stocks. Of course, there are no guarantees that you will succeed in trading stocks if you join our membership site or not, but we share with you what works for us. Okay, so let's get right into it with Kala Pharmaceutical Inc. It's a publicly traded pharma company on NASDAQ that specializes in developing and commercializing innovative treatments for eye diseases and related conditions. Very nice website as well. The company is listed on NASDAQ under the ticker symbol KALA and it was founded in 2009. Cala Pharmaceuticals is headquarters in Watertown, Massachusetts, with additional offices in Durham, North Carolina, and Leuven, Belgium. Leuven, Belgium. I hope I pronounced that correctly, doubles. Leuven, Belgium. Sounds pretty good to me, anyway. Here we go. So, the company's flagship product is something called Inveltis. I N V E L T Y S. Why can't they just give it simple names? Why do they have to be so complicated, doubles? Why so complicated? I don't know. Anyway, this particular product is a cortisoid. A cortisoid. A corticosteroid. That's what I meant. A corticosteroid. That's an easy one. That is used to treat inflammation and pain following ocular surgery. In other words, eye surgery. Right? They're getting this stuff from the company itself. So they got to use those $5 words when they can just use a simple word like eye surgery. Uh, in addition to this, the company is also developing other therapies for dry eye disease, glaucoma, and other eye-related conditions. Now, Cala Pharmaceuticals has made significant strides in the pharmaceutical industry based on what it says and has formed partnerships with other leading pharmaceutical companies and research organizations to further advance its development efforts. One of the company's significant partnerships is with Bausch. That's a big company. Bausch Health, a global pharmaceutical company. The two companies collaborated on a phase three clinical trial to evaluate Cala's iSuvis E-Y-S-U-V-I-S, a treatment for acute dry eye disease. The trial showed positive results and led to the approval of Ishuviz by the FDA in October 2020. That's good, right? That's good stuff. All right. Another important partnership that Cala Pharmaceuticals entered into is with Athenix, a biopharmaceutical company. Cal Cala Pharmaceutical licensed Athenix's proprietary technology to develop and commercialize KPI-121, which is a quarter of a percent an eye drop solution used for the temporary relief and signs and symptoms of dry eye disease. ba da ba da ba ba Here you go. All right. Now, what else does Cala do? Cala Pharmaceutical's commitment to bringing new and effective treatments to patients with ocular disease is evidenced by its strong product pipeline and strategic partnerships. In October 2022, however, the company underwent a one for 50 reverse stock split to increase the stock price and reduce the number of outstanding shares. Currently, the company is a micro float and only has 1.6 million shares in its float. So it has the potential for parabolic movement because of the low float and in fact had a small run on Friday, March 3rd, 2023 on positive news on cash on hand for Q4 of 2022. Now we had called this stock several months ago in our private discord it had a parabolic run it had a sympathy parabolic run with another stock that we also called cosm cosm ran from eight cents to about 84 cents we called it right around the eight cent mark for our private discord the link's in the description if you want to join the private discord for our private picks and of course cosm also ran from 40 cents to 24 dollars after its reverse split, and of course we called it at around the 40 cent mark, and that was an incredible parabolic run. 
Again, if you want to get those picks, no obligation. But if you want to, the link's in the description to join our private Discord for that. So let's get back to Kala. Okay, and one of the things that the company came out saying is that it that its cash position is stro so strong that it should be able to fund itself at least until Q1 2025, which is two years from now. Now, that's pretty, pretty interesting because a lot of these pharma companies are constantly seeking money, and this company is basically saying that they have enough capital available because of, I presume, because of how strong the stock has run to finance themselves until 2025. Uh, now, you know, that's interesting, but let me point out that on March 3rd, 2023, when it had that parabolic run, Cala Pharmaceutical also filed a Form S3 with the Securities and Exchange Commission to register the security offerings with the SEC. So they've left the door open to get, you know, do an offering for shares. So it's not clear whether or not it will dilute itself anytime soon, but the S3 filing gives them the ability to do so. And the fact that it only has 1.6 million shares leaves room for that dilution. Now, is dilution always bad? It depends. It depends, okay? Uh, but it usually hurts shareholders when it happens. So that's, that's the story. Again, you do you. I'm just telling you what I'm thinking in my uh, cabeza. You know what I mean? That's what I'm thinking, all right? But I'm not a pro. I'm not a professional. I'm not giving you advice. You do you. You do? You know? You do you. All right. Um, so, you know, Kala has a strong cash on hand, okay? And it has a strong track record. And it makes the stock an interesting day trade stock for us because we are still in a bearish market, so we don't feel comfortable holding long. Now, will we trade this stock? It'll stay on a watch list for us, okay? Uh, but we're not sure if we're going to trade it. We need to see what kind of volume the stock has. Now, it had 7 or 8 million shares traded on Friday, uh, which was significantly greater than the 10-day uh, average volume, which I think was about 800,000 shares. So there were a lot of eyes on this stock on Friday when it came out with its earning news. And if it comes out with some kind of news pertaining to its product line, uh, we know that the stock has the potential to run parabolic. In fact, let's go to the videotape. Voila, you can see that we have a, a four-hour, 180-day chart, and about 180 days ago, the damn stock went to $56.72, and of course, we called it way before that. ba da ba da ba, -ba. just saying. Okay, so key levels that we're going to look at, $18, $20, $26, $29. You do you. <laughs> You do you, okay? Because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just a regular retail investor, and I'm giving you a show. So there's my show. The show's over. It goes into my watch list. Much love. Peace out. It's Coach Nick Money, and I am out of here. Peace, baby. Woo. Oh, my God.